Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe mod 2.2 and the 11 mod. And one of you wanted to see a Constitution refit go up against 10 um, Braille Birds of Prey. I chose 8 Birds of Prey to go up against me because I don't think we'll survive. Well, 8 or 10, so I just went with 8 because that's one full wing of them, which would make more sense. So, anyway. Uh, we have the Eagle here. I fully refitted it so it should be able to shoot things and defend itself um, We are not gonna win this I'm gonna make that clear. I don't see how we could win this But let's try it anyway Just lonely Constitution refit that looks pretty cool actually this map and uh, the ship Instruments indicate that we have crossed the Klingon neutral zone. Klingons this actually looks really cool. This is like screenshot zone. worthy. But I, yeah, anyway. That is really cool looking, guys. Anyway, what is this? And why is it here? Ooh, Excelsior class and a Katinga. Um. Can I... hold on, just... everyone just ignore the Klingon Birds of Prey for a second. Uh-huh. What are you guys doing? Let us get out of here. Is it possible for me to do anything with you guys? Can I take you over? Can I... Uh, let's scan you. Let us get out of here. No response to scan. Hail him. Hailing frequencies open. No. no response, Captain. Open hailing frequency. Nothing. Your deaths will bring great what? honor to my house. Was that what he said or what the Klingons over there said? L let me try that again. Open hailing frequency. Miserable attack. Yep, no, he's definitely saying that. Let us get out of here. Yeah, well, the Empire isn't gonna get it. Can I transport to you? Beam the landing party over now. No. Alright, let, let, let's forget about this guy. It was not worth it. But I like that he actually responded. That's hilarious. Don't know what's going on here, but who cares. Unless this is that one thing that they referenced in Voyager, where they came across, like, Klingon vessels and a nebula, and a anyway, um, I want a two-box stories. Enemy shields are down. This is no challenge. We're just gonna fight them in this nebula. Alright. That feels Star Trek worthy. Full wing of brawls. Uh, this will not be easy. Really wish that guy could help me. Fortunately, their torpedoes are not doing much. But a lot of them could eventually start bringing my shields down. Maybe we can beat these eight brills. We can almost outmaneuver this brill. Actually, no, that was a complete lie. Well, actually, yeah, we're staying behind him. It's, it's pretty good. This is a really cool map. I'm gonna have to use it more. I'm at the Konos system. Fire! Heroes away! Yes, one Klingon neutralized, as Kirk just said. Yeah, these Brels are not too bad. They aren't actually shooting me, though. They're just torpedoing me. I have yet to see disruptor fire, really. 
Well, maybe now they'll start disrupting me. Nope. They aren't. They really just like using torpedoes. Well, I mean, if that's what they want to do, I won't stop them. It really is just torpedoes. I'm confused by this. Because they, they do have disruptors, I know that they do. Can we talk about this, maybe? Yeah, no, they, they don't want to talk. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Well, I was optimistic before, but I'm not quite sure. We have taken some damage, and they did get our shields down slightly at one point. I don't know. We have taken some damage. Let us get out of here. Come on, torpedoes? 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 Nope, no torpedoes. I want to get a shot of the front when it's firing the torpedoes. But nope, it does not want to. There we go. Nope. Yes. Beautiful. Klingon neutralized. Let's warp this way. Oh no, I miscalculated gravely. I miscalculated gravely. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Oh no. I warped right into the explosion. I thought I would be able to warp past it before it was able to do any damage, but nope. We uh we have no shields now. Captain, a Klingon battle cruiser has entered the system. Captain, the shields are up. The shields are not oh dear. Warp away. Warp away. Warp away. Oh gosh. We have incoming. We have incoming. Oh jeez. Ah, that looked cool though, gotta admit. Okay, well, now that we're sufficiently exploded, can I get the shields back, please? All power to the shields. Aye, sir. Let's just warp away. Warp speed. Shields repaired, Captain. Hey, look at that. Shields are back up and running. We have Instruments partial shielding. Are notoriously ferocious over neutral zone violations, Captain. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Let's go down here. Let us get out of here. Walk free. Let's uh, let's click orbit planet and see what it does. We gonna start orbiting the planet now? In like a gentle orbit. Nope, not really. I said orbit the planet, not not run away from it. Come on. Orbit planet. Can you do it? Can you do it? No, it still wants to go that way. That's a... That means a praxis. The moon praxis. Off to my left. So, one of these I saw... I'm probably tracked to be in that. Well, it does not want me to orbit the planet, that's for sure. Aye, 
Ahí, Sar. Anyway, who cares? Let's try this. Yes! Don't know what we need this for. But, oh wait, no, I do know what we need this for. Where's the torpedo coming from? We can use this to shield ourselves, guys. I am clever. Or we can cause a, a global event. We're going to defeat the Klingon Empire once and for all, guys. We will take them out. They will not know what hit them. Come on, guys. Just a little bit closer. I think they just torpedoed their own world. Alright. And disengage. No, no, you're you're not gonna slam into it. No, you're not. Alright, well. Take two. Take two, everyone. We're gonna try this again. Do it better. We're gonna swing it into it, guys. Just swing into it. Swing into it. No. Okay. I give up. This is a waste of everyone's time. Take that. You, you can you can take this too. Oh, finally they're using their disruptors. They figured out which button that was, I guess. If only I had not miscalculated my warp jump before, we probably would have won by now. Weapons. Full power to weapons. I sir. Beautiful hits. Still a little bit of glitchiness with that damage on the primary hull, but who cares? I think that's gonna lock on. I'm not sure exactly, it's being weird. A lot of people are not alive right now on this ship. That torpedo vanished. Stand by on phasers. Lock phasers. Torpedoes ready. Firing. Boom. One more phaser hit should do it. Charging phasers. There we go. Good hit. Let, let's not be blown up now by that impact. Enemy shields are down. This vessel will need an overhaul by the time it's done. Get a lock on their engine systems or weapon systems. Still can't. Well, whatever. Ooh, ooh, if we can just turn a little bit. Just turn a little bit. 
A little bit this way, come on, come on. We're in, in, in a turn fight with a Brel right now. Go, fire! Took out their engines. Fire. Nope, don't fire. Alright. Don't know why the rear phasers and torpedoes don't want to lock on. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna dr drive right by him, fly right by him, and fire the rear, the uh, aft torpedo launcher. Alright. Fire. No! Okay, fine, fine, fine. You know what, game? You win. You win. No, wait. One more time. Just turn around. I want to use the aft torpedo launcher. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Let's just waste everybody's time. Turn around. Target locked. Good night. Alright. That took way more time than it was supposed to. Whoa. I'm surprised we're doing this well. Maybe you weren't wrong with using 10 birds of prey, or even 20. Because, wow, these guys do not know how to fight. They're not using their disruptors. I mean, they used them, like, once. And they're just bombarding me with torpedoes. The most damage that was done to me was when I killed one of them and <laughs> flew through the explosion. So, yeah. Not that this isn't fun, though. I'm enjoying this. It feels very much like a Star Trek battle. Although, of, of course, like we're using Star Trek ships in a Star Trek game, so I guess, yeah, it, it should feel like a Star Trek battle anyway. I love those sound effects. It sounds like static discharge. Torpedoes. Not torpedoes, the phasers. Oh, more damage has been done. Cool. Both of our warp engines are now having problems. Something damaged, yes. That was a mistake. You. Here we go. Alright, let's try to get close to him. The closer you are, the more damage the phasers do. We are really close to him. Taking their shields down. Let's go back to that nebula. That place was cool. Hey, I saw disruptors. We're getting there. Slowly. This is Enterprise. Probably gotta go more this way now. Just a dark spot right there. Alright, come on. Only three more left, that's good. Warp. Warp speed. There we go, now we are in the fun. Doesn't that look amazing? Alright.
making our way over to the Excelsior. They still Open do not want to respond to our hails. No response, Captain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tuvok from Voyager was on the Excelsior at one point, and he went into a nebula, and they encountered like a, a Katinga, and they d disabled it or something like that. And th this might be that because I don't know they were like really close to Klingon space. All right, incoming birds of prey. We will be prepared for them. Let's increase weapons there. They are approaching the nebula. Weapons are almost repaired. Come on. Weapons are fully efficient now and repaired. They are entering the nebula now. Let's set that as our target. Uh, let's go at one half impulse. Let's let's go to meet them. Although they're coming to meet us anyway in about five seconds here. Oh, nice hit. Another nice hit. Another nice hit. Their shields are down in three hits. All right. And their hull is taking damage now. They are almost as fast as my torpedoes at some points. Let us get out of here. It's gonna shoot this guy too. Just to make it more realistic, you know, in a Star Trek battle, you probably wouldn't just target one guy the whole time, probably shooting everything at once. Torpedoes! Fire. There we go. Lock phasers. Phasers are locked. Is the killing on Empire. You can probably get more torpedoes pretty soon. Well, one of them locked on, but better than none. Better than none. Enemy shields are down. Fire phasers on my command. There we go. That'll show them. There we go. Mighty is the killing on Empire. Darting with torpedoes. This battle's taking a long time. I'm just gonna quickly apologize for that, but I, I'm really enjoying it. Their impulse engines are down along with everything else. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Alright, explosions. Explosions. Their shields are down. Torpedoes locking on. We're starting to leave the nebula. Let's start turning back toward it. Where is the um the the uh the the stuff? To my left. There they are. Huh, that locked on. That one didn't actually launch, alright. Take us out of here, Mr. Sulu. There we go. Yeah, so I was completely wrong before when I said that we weren't going to win this in the beginning, because clearly we are, unless something drastic happens, like I fly through another explosion, and about 50 torpedoes hit me, that could always happen. Or that Katinga suddenly becomes active for some reason. Come 
Come on. Let me destroy you. Thank you. Just let those hit. They'll all be over soon. Their phasers are not operable. Well, they're using disruptors, so... Yeah. Actually, they're just using torpedoes. Well, no, their shields are up, I'm pretty sure. There we go. One more left. Torpedo? 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 No, alright. No torpedo lock. Yes. Almost done. I never really appreciated the power of the Constitution refit, but uh, clearly it is a pretty good ship. This thing can pack a punch, and it can definitely take a punch, that's for sure. Why am I constantly hearing the phaser sound? Well, anyway, we have prevailed. Well, first of all, I want to apologize for how long that took me to do, um, but we were, we were able to kill all eight of the birds of prey we lost no ships obviously and that battle took just over 27 minutes so even though it took a while i hope that you guys enjoyed this battle and if you guys did then please be sure to leave the video a like and if you are not subscribed and you want to see more then please subscribe because there is always more if you guys did not like this uh, video for whatever reason i apologize for that and i ask that you leave a comment in the comment section telling me what it is that i can do to improve uh, my next videos and hopefully make them better so that you guys will be able to enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that and I will read those and I will try to use those ideas in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta and I will see you next time.